Do you know what it's like to look in a mirror and not like what you see? This girl is not the heroine of this story. She is not the main character. She is just an idea, a caricature, a representation, hidden deep inside some, but found at the surface of others. To almost everyone else, this girl was just another face in the crowd. Ignored by those around her, her presence was barely felt. However, to a small group of students, she was noticed. She was not their friend, but rather their prey. She was the perfect target, just waiting to be toyed with for their entertainment. And when the bell rang every morning, for her, it did not signify the beginning of class, as it did for everyone else. It signified something different, the beginning of another day in hell. Every day in class, she relapsed into a dark corner of the room and into the even darker corners of her mind, hiding herself from the world around her with the characters and stories she drew in her notebook. When everyone had left the room, she was alone, but not more alone than she had been before they had gone. She sat for a while preparing for the onslaught which was about to begin again, as it had the day before, and the day before that, and the day before that. And although she was never truly ready to face them again, she always did. <laughs> Their laughter pierced her ears and her soul, and no matter how hard she tried to run, to get away from it, there was no escape, because they were always there everywhere she went. Hello, bitch. Oh, why are you so sad? Was someone mean to you? Exactly when the abuse started, she could not remember, nor could she remember the exact words they used. But she could remember how each one broke her down, shattering her confidence, sending her you into a dark no pit head. of depression. Why don't you just leave? That's what everyone wants. Please. No matter how much she begged and pleaded for the words to halt, they kept coming. And although not a single finger touched her, it felt as though her whole body had been struck. As the hot tears ran from her eyes, down her cheeks, onto the bathroom tiles below, and she glanced at her reflection in the mirror, the more she started wondering to herself if maybe they were right about her. Maybe she was all the things they said she was. And although no one knew or cared about what happened to her, she had to continue on with the rest of her day, acting as if nothing had occurred. But unknown to her, today was different. Today she was not alone. At the beginning of the story, I told you this girl was not the main character. However, she was never too far away. Meet the true main character of the story, the heroine. Like the girl we just met, 
She is also not real, just another representation. Her real name is unimportant, but for the sake of our story, we'll call her Empathy. She heard it all, all of the hateful words, the begs and the pleads to stop, the sound of the girl's sobs, and although she could not see the face of the girl who was attacked, she knew she was in trouble. but she was too late. She had lost her. That night, the two girls could not sleep, but for two very different reasons. For one, the cries and pleads she heard from that bathroom stall haunted her, like the wailing of ghosts. For the other, the thought of facing another day crushed her, and when she tried to sleep, all she had were nightmares. And as time passed, it was becoming harder to tell where the nightmares ended and reality began. She had found her. Although she never saw the girl's face from the stall, she instantly knew it was her. Their eyes locked, and at that moment, she knew something was different. She saw a spark of empathy in the girl's eyes. But when the time came, she froze, unable to act. Maybe it was fear, or anxiety, or uneasiness, or perhaps it was just plain cowardice. And she walked by doing nothing. Do you know what it's like to look in a mirror and not like what you see? A mirror is simply a piece of glass, a cold surface that reflects light. What a mirror can't show is what's inside a person. That can only be seen with a different object, one that we all have inside of us, our heart. I'm sorry. I forgive you. And when we open our hearts and take the time to look past the skin of another person, we might find we have a lot more in common with each other than we think. And then maybe we could find some empathy within ourselves to help those in need. I, I could have made things different. Stop!